I'm Matty Munchall, 23 years old from Beverly, have severe haemophilia A, and I'm a cheerleader. Growing up, I've been physically active and played a lot of sports. However, haemophilia has impacted me due to the length of time for recovery. Twisted knees, twisted ankles, a couple of muscular bleeds, and just the length of time out, really. You had to stop everything to let the bleed and injuries recover. And then you couldn't dive straight back into it because the recovery process is just a lot longer. My housemate in first year of uni actually wrote me into cheerleading. They needed more males on the squad. And after constant nagging, I finally gave in and said, yeah, I'll come down to a session and give it a go. And from that point, I was kind of locked in and couldn't really say no to coming back. So being a male cheerleader, I have had plenty of stick off my mates for it, but as a sport there is many misconceptions, it's not just pom-pom waving. The ability to perform these stunts and to constantly try new things, that challenge is what drives me and uh, has kept me involved. Predominantly I'm a back in cheerleading, this is key for the higher level stunts and the more complex skilled ones to get the power behind so you can really throw them and hold the flyers up. Cheerleading requires a lot of stamina and strength and there's a fair few compound movements as well, which is great for all muscles and joints. Therefore, I'd say it's actually one of the better sports to get involved with, although slightly high risk, um, the rewards pay off. The Haemophilia team were great. When I announced I started doing cheerleading, they uh, found it amusing and questioned why, but then they support me throughout. And more importantly, it was looking at the pros and cons and the risk involved and how we could be proactive and manage the condition and the treatment around the sport. Throughout training, as we've been learning routines, there's been many bumps and bruises along the way. I've had an elbow to the face, a knee to the face, even a bum in my face. But all that means is I take the time out to recover, assess the injury, and sometimes, if needs be, take an extra treatment. In the final year of university, we went to two competitions and came back national champions, which was quite a proud moment as I also captained the team. It was a nice box to pick off and icing on the cake. As a haemophiliac, there's so many things we're told we can't do. You don't have to go down the standard route of football, cycling, cricket. There's many niches out there that meet your needs and requirements and it can be great fun. You just have to take that leap and say yes and give it a go no matter how daunting that might be. 